but the other thing that we also saw happen was the head of Meta, uh, his name is Mark Zuckerberg, he added a feature called Meta Verified. Uh. Let me know if you've heard this before. Uh, a <laughs> subscription service that lets you verify your account with a government ID, get a blue badge, and it's $12 a month on the web or fourteen ninety nine a month on iOS. Oh, my God. Does this ring any, any bells? I thought you weren't allowed to say that. What? Like, out loud. Like, it is less expensive somewhere that doesn't get the what cut. What you're not allowed to do is give people a button in the app on the phone to yeah. leave to pay on the web. Okay. Yeah. But you can, yeah, in your announcements, say whatever you want. Yeah, they're okay. taking a 30% cut. I assume this is also on Android. There's the same 30% cut. So it will cost 30% more there... to subscribe from one of those platforms. Um, I guess the the nice thing about this, I know they're kind of just copying Twitter Blue, but the nice thing about this is it is a little bit more than just a verified badge. Just a little bit. Just a yes. little bit. I'll read what it is. Uh, you get the blue badge to be verified. You use your government ID, so it's it's got to be you. Mm-hmm. Um, it also gets you extra impersonation protection, like monitoring. So you will have, there will be some service that keeps track of if you get impersonated and will actively take down impersonators. Cool. That's handy. That's nice. Um, you get direct access to a customer support chat feature. And uh, it's kind of also like boosting your your posts. You get, you get. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. According to Adam Masseri's video that he also tweeted about this, you in Instagram anyway, get sort of an algorithmic priority if you are a subscriber. Huh. If you're like verified. Facebook's been, they've been pay to play forever. Like it's not shocking <laughs> yeah. that they would do that. But yeah, that's the thing. Interesting. Can we start yeah. this out by how this announcement was made? Because I feel like we're not talking about it and it just seems wild to me. But it's, this like channel this thing? like weird do because there's something posted before does everyone who's verified just have this weird like channel that it it also says at the bottom says never miss an update from zuck all lowercase <laughs> only zuck can message but you can read react and vote and poll <laughs> yeah because okay, so, i did not get this message only good, zuck good question message. so to rewind a little bit there's a new feature called uh broadcast channels on okay. instagram so on instagram you can post already you can put videos out you can put stories out And you know how you can message people on Instagram? You can have a message thread from you broadcast to all your followers, but no one else can reply. Oh, And so that's what this is. So Zuck is using, that's his username, is using this beta broadcast channels feature to announce I am in this thing. I guess there's 360,000 people in here. Maybe it's just verified people. I don't know. But people. No, uh, I'm not verified. Do you you, you, you guys follow him? I don't know what the rule is for who's in this. Do you follow him? Yeah, maybe yeah, it's so bad. he sent it out to his followers. I bet. Oh, but he yeah. has like millions and millions. Of oh, I'm sure. I, I'm sure just a lot of them oh, haven't looked join. at like the group. It's probably, probably. The, like secondary inbox or whatever. So yeah, so he's using this like broadcast feature, and it's kind of like maybe that is a cool feature. Like if you do a lot of like really big text posts, or if you're like a let's say you're a a product reviewer and you do a lot of like product reviews in your captions of images but you want like to just like add updates or like talk about your merch or something small like that you can do this with a text post to all your followers and like a message cool whatever. i actually think that's cool it's a cool feature it's yeah. an additional communication method for creators um and he's using it in this example to tell us about okay. his new feature i <laughs> thought he just that? sent it to all the like verified people which i thought was really weird um, oh no yeah it's everybody everybody get get subscribing Everybody. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I, I think my one thing you mentioned here, the extra step of verification through the ID badge is something that I've been super interested about if Twitter ever goes that route because it's like that is the one thing that that does make the verification of being a real person way more yeah, on real. point. Yeah. I just don't know how many people want to actually post their government ID to social media. To like meta? This, to meta or Twitter, honestly. Like, I think a lot of the people... I think a lot of people on Twitter right now in that scenario are not people who like posting their public uh, identification. Does stuff. Twitter actually verify that you're a human when you sign up for Blue? No. That's what something they've said, though. That's like the annoying thing about it being called verified, because you're not. You're just paying money. Yeah, bots just verified your spam you got bots. A credit card I believe somewhere. they said that you, because you're entering in like a credit card or debit card, they're relying on the banks to yeah, do the authentication. Stupid. That is so cool. stupid. It's less Man. secure than your actual You can create ID. so sure. many fake like credit card numbers did, that you mask your that, like, Didn't that Twitch streamer's fish just like spend all of his credit card money on the Nintendo eShop? recently Twitter blue verified okay someone pull up this headline real quick to make sure I'm getting it right there was a twitch streamer who 
wrote like a API that lets his goldfish play Switch games just by swimming around the tank. Fish play okay. Pokemon Violet and do some shopping on the eShop. Yeah, and it spent oh like... Oh my god! And that's a fish. That's so funny. So, Credit card fraud. From your, uh, in theory, mishap spending money on In the theory, eShop. this fish could have signed up for Twitter Blue and been verified as a human. Yeah, as that's the Twitch streamer. Elon! Just saying. That is amazing. Yeah. Government ID. Fish don't get... I don't think fish get government <laughs> IDs. So... That yeah, so you could argue you're getting a little more out of the meta subscription product, meta verified. I, I still think it's stupid. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I just. But this is slightly less stupid. It is totally pay to play. I mean, like, to be fair, if you're getting, bo- I don't even want to say this, but like, if you are boosting posts, like, some people might find that worth the money. I just hate that. That's what this social media is. I think I still use Instagram mostly as a place where I feel like I'm more interacting with my like in like real life friends and like people I've known for a while where I am posting my profiles public, but yeah. I, don't I know. don't know most of the people that like my post on Instagram. There's a difference between like and who I interact with. So like, like the uh, stories messages. and messages I'm doing all feel like my home friends, but my yeah. profile is public because I like showing off what we do here and, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, what's annoying to me is kind of that uh, Facebook and Instagram, you're kind of agreeing to this thing that they're going to take your data and make money off of you that way. Yeah. And it's like, okay, more. yeah, but now I'm paying for you to take my data. Right. And like, it's fine. Like I'm one of those people that I don't mind it as much in a weird way because I do get better ads that way. And like my Instagram experience is better that way. Yeah. But now I'm paying for it. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time. This is a conversation we were sort of thinking about with like the fact that Netflix started this kickoff of unlimited recurrent revenue where they have a subscription model and everything started moving towards subscription models. And we've been talking for like a couple of years now about like, how can we make it so companies can stop taking our data? Cause that's how they make money on us. The products are free because you are the product. You subsidize, yeah. But the only way that they could make money otherwise is if you pay them. But now they want both, <laughs> which yeah. seems really yeah. They want to scale up great. all the money. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the 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 peak of this subscription age. Yeah. Like we talk about the iPhone all the time. Like the iPhone is one of the most successful products of all time and it's grown every year, but it's slowing in its growth and it's kind of saturated. And so now Apple <laughs> Apple needs the chart to keep going up. Tim yeah. Cook's like, let's get this chart going up. So yeah. what happens? They find a way to charge everyone with an iPhone a recurring amount over and over apple and try one, to upsell baby. you apple one apple yeah. storage apple all this stuff and so now they make a ton of money on that too yeah so on the back of the iphone way more money Services. it's just going to keep going yeah until the, you're spending 12 bucks a month for heated seats in your bmw were you gonna say something i i just was gonna repeat like it's funny that we have been talking about oh how can we get rid of like these companies taking our data these companies taking our data and in the end we weren't and we were just gonna pay them more yeah. like it's just i think Versus the Apple situation is like people paying for subscriptions are the everyday users of that where this the meta and the Twitter ones Would you agree seem far more focused on the creators that they're looking to make the money from because it's just a subset that wants verification Yeah, like I know there are people who want verification But still like look at the Twitter blue numbers at it was like a hundred and eighty thousand I can't imagine the meta numbers are going to be. There's a ton of creators on Instagram, and yeah. there are people who make a living. They'll they will get this, but that's such a small subset. And you're just now charging the people that are making your platform popular. So you're getting very small feedback from that, kind of screwing over the people that are driving a lot of traffic to you, and you're just making a, an abysmal amount of money yeah. in comparison yeah. to the rest. I, I guess will, the there's like this magic rule of like when you have a subscription version and a free version it's usually around 10 percent, give or take that will subscribe and when you make the subscription version more expensive you make it a worse experience for them but the the masses that are not subscribing that have their experience unchanged will be perfectly happy and so you kind of have to weigh like, where do we get this money from? By charging the 90% and ruining all of their experiences or yeah. by charging the 10% and keeping the 90% happy but making more money. It's optional too. I just feel like that amount of money is like a drop in the pan for these yeah. two companies that are huge. If only Meta like created a really cool $1,500 product that would totally change the way <laughs> businesses uh, now that's work these days, they, they would be rolling in money. Yeah. <laughs> would they be though? 
Um, <laughs> oh, they could be if anyone cared. There's also been this in like the business world. There's this, there's been this conversation that's being had recently about the value that creators get from the services that they use on these platforms versus like the fact that they don't pay for them. Well, they pay for them with their data. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have been being like, well, you know, if I'm an Instagram influencer with like 5 million followers and I make one post and it literally tangibly directly influences the amount of money that I'm making, yeah. paying $12 a month is like literally nothing. Is a no brainer. And you are still getting more value as a creator who is yeah, paying for the $12. Sure. I think it's just like, Everyone got used to this ad model, this like data model. And now that they're like, yeah, you should probably pay us a little bit to be able to make money. It's kind of a weird like you got to pay money to make money thing. So but. I, I would argue, though, it's less of if you're the Instagram, if you're the influencer with five million followers, it's not that you're only getting um, like you're not only paying them with your data. You're paying them with your data and the data Plus. of five million other people that <laughs> are following you. So you are more than that's paying fair back what it is yeah, like I think. Enough. These people are driving traffic to these yeah. sites that are making the money off of data, and like these are multi-billion. Charge them twelve bucks. Multi-billion dollar companies. I can't really simp for them. Yeah, <laughs> so. I don't. I didn't think you were. I just no, think I'm like not, there I'm is not. way more. Like yeah, yeah. That's a, it's a good point. That's a good yeah. point. It's also if you are the Instagram account with five million followers, are you driving people to Instagram or are you driving people to content once they're already on you're Instagram? Keeping, you're still keeping oh, them keeping on, them on there. On, yeah, yeah. yeah. like they're with still your serving Instagram ads. Content. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know. I think they're making these companies money, and now the companies are just charging them. Asking for more, like money. you said, most of them will be fine. But I think the people who won't care about twelve bucks are, I mean, Twitter Blue is. Yeah. you said mostly ten percent people will subscribe at most. It's yeah. like point oh two percent of yeah. Twitter users yeah. are subscribed. This to is Blue. the this is the CEO decision. It's like how do you yeah. keep the chart going up? Susan would never. How do you make this? <laughs> well, YouTube Premium is a thing, and people pay for it. But that's just like that's for the user. That's though. not for yeah, the creator. It's for the yeah. user, but it's the same magic ten percent, and it's those people are getting ad free YouTube and some extra features. But see, that's the thing. Like th this is the thing. Like this is the model that everyone was like. If you don't want your data, if you don't want the ads, if you don't want this, you pay us money. Like right. this has been the model for a long time of ads run the internet. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want the ads, give us a few bucks a month. Mm -hmm. And that's like what everyone has kind of been thinking of. And now it's like, eh, we're going to take your data and you're going to have ads on Instagram and you're going to pay us $12 a month. Think about the amount of ads you get on Instagram and you're still paying $12 a month for this verified service. That's if true. this got rid of your ads, then that would be more worth it. Would you pay 10 bucks a month on Instagram for no ads? No. This is there's going to be a subset that might do that. Ten, I don't know. It is it is annoying, though, if I'm looking through stories. Yeah. I get two stories from people I know, and, and then, then there's two, two ads. ads. Always two ads. And then two more stories. And oh, two my more God, ads. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Th that's what makes it such a terrible service. It's yeah. literally half ads. Instagram yeah. ads are really good. I've bought so much crap. I was just going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> I, I think so I might they miss got ads down. on Instagram. Mine keep just makes me feel bad about I'll pay them 12 bucks the to keep ads on live. <laughs> I did <laughs> buy uh, a jacket and pants from Instagram. That's the only thing I've ever bought from an Instagram ad, and they're pretty good. I almost bought a cat sweatshirt, but the comment said that it took like 20 weeks to show up, so I said, never mind. Overseas shipping, maybe? It was a really cute cat on the sweatshirt. See, it's, they only get that from worth stealing it. all of your information. <laughs> I would never have gotten that ad, but they found you with that. <laughs> they did. And that's that's just because they got that sort of data on you. I did screenshot it for later. See? I mean, that's a lot of smarts, but also a lot of data. <laughs> Fair. Touche. If you made it this far on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, for real. Thank you. <laughs> We're going off the rails. Ellis, you had this this theory that I really like. Well, we have to talk about one more feature before we get to Ellis's theory, oh, okay. right? Which is that Instagram's also allowing picture replies. Oh, I just right? saw this, yeah. You have it on your, yeah. it's on your page. Yeah, as of like two days ago, uh, my comment section is way more vibrant. There's way more stuff happening in my <laughs> comment section. It's like Tumblr, yeah. Like I posted something, uh, I posted a reel actually, and I was like, Oh, it's not really getting that much traction, but why does it have 350 comments? And I opened it, and it's just GIFs. The whole thing. <laughs> image, Wait, image, 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 Did GIFs. you just say GIFs? I said it. Yeah, I said it. On the podcast, I said it. I heard GIFs. nothing wrong with that. What are you guys talking GIFs. about? GIFs. And there Ellis, are tons GIFs. of them. Ellis tiebreaker. It, as long as you're pronunciation? Right. Yeah. GIF. You can say it. <laughs> yes, we GIF. won. I've, uh, Ellis. I've always, I'm, I'm not going to, I've always been a, a GIF person. Yeah. Yes. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> It's, it's, not, be wrong. it's not graphic. Because it's I'm graphics. starting my own yeah. trivia show, and I'm just going to ask that question over and over again. To is be it, fair, I think the creator tell me why. pronounces it like that, but he was wrong. Tell me so. why, though. Like, why is it GIF? 
I don't know why it just is <laughs> because just the, because of what Andrew said. The creator <laughs> said it's Jeff. I mean, that's oh a pretty good role. That's like, a great if role. If you invented the name, you kind of get to choose how it's said. Mm. Marquez listens to creators. Yeah, I respect the creation, <laughs> the creative process. I respect. Our anyway, true the comment section is insane now because <laughs> yeah. it's just constant. Like nobody leaves comment replies anymore because the, yeah. the images get voted to the top, and now it's just rainbows and unicorns everywhere. It's crazy. I hate gifts. They're everywhere. Just saying. But those pictures. Yeah. Ellis, can you just explain yeah, so, to this? I want you to explain it on the pod because you started yesterday and it was awesome. Okay. So if you're like me and you hang out in Wikipedia circles on the internet, you <laughs> what does eventually, that mean? like, like if you're a meta user, there's Cool Freaks Wikipedia Club. If you're on Instagram, there's Depths of Wikipedia. There's lots of these like Wikipedia centered communities i did not know this anyway if you're in them long enough you realize that there's a lot of reposts um yeah like like there's only so many really cool wikipedia pages one of the ones that gets reposted all the time is this like biological theory it's not my theory um it's called carcinization and it's this idea that crab adjacent species like lobsters and hermit crabs generally evolve towards becoming a crab and lots of animals that <laughs> don't exhibit crab-like features converge biologically on the crab format because it's just advantageous in a lot of ways to be a crab and so yesterday when marquez was like crab rave yeah that's what they're raving about being yeah. superior <laughs> yeah. what yeah. and um okay. so when marquez you know turned around was like yo check it out there's there's uh <laughs> <laughs> you're checking out there's pictures of instagram now i was like oh my god it's like the crab thing it's like all social media platforms just slowly become tumblr yeah, yeah i was gonna say what's oh, really? the crab tumblr is tumblr is tumblr's the, crab. the crab i don't know if there is like you know an exact crab i don't even know if it's actually tumblr we were talking yesterday about it looking a lot like tumblr <laughs> yeah um i do think i've that... also never had a tumblr so i don't even know me neither what i that didn't really like. have one either i think that as social media tries to become more personalized because there was like finstagrams for a long time and there still are but like a lot of a lot of different social media now is trying to like come back to the roots of just having your friends and having it be more literally social with the people that you know uh they probably all converge towards tumblr because that's more what tumblr was about tumblr was like you and your friends and there were there were tumblers that were popular that people just followed in general but it was it was more for you and your friends isn't that how all social media starts before it goes but, mainstream yeah because this is the sine wave right yeah. Everything is everything is a trend wave of of a sine wave. Yeah, Facebook was like just you and your friends from school. Yeah, and all the brands showed up. Yeah, and now you left because even your parents are there, and yeah. so you went to Instagram for all your friends. Yeah, and then the reels and all your brands showed up. <laughs> yeah, there was an in between though. Like I don't know if like there was a, a year or two, maybe even like three, where the brands hadn't showed up yet, but celebrities had, mm. and they didn't understand exactly like have you seen any of vin diesel's like 2011 <laughs> facebook uploads yes. that's like but that's 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 like pure i still like that because that seems like they're trying to be one of us like, like genuinely <laughs> genuinely trying instead of just yeah, like i am here yeah. to monetize yeah it's like them kind of you know, hanging out i don't know that's weird but then like yeah you see like the early days of youtube it's like here's me at the zoo Here's like a five second video of, of me, my golf swing. And then yeah. suddenly we're here. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so it's like the, the sine wave of social media. So yeah, Instagram yeah. comment section going through the same sine wave. Yeah. It's just everything is crab rave. Crab rave. Crab rave. Yeah. I like it. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Just wanted to say, uh, if you haven't already, definitely make sure you subscribe. I know we've talked a lot about subscriptions, 12 bucks a month to be verified on Instagram, nine bucks a month to be verified on Twitter. Um, Soon we will start charging to be subscribed here on Waveform. Uh, it'll be around the same price as the heated seats in a BMW, so about 12 bucks a month. Um, it's the same so make sure so. it's about as useful to your life, <laughs> yeah. honestly. When you're commuting, you want the heated seats and the podcast going. Mm -hmm. uh, so before that price goes up, Make sure you could subscribe. I think it's free right now. If you you get grandfathered in if you do it now. Yeah. Oh, that's that's huge. I did hear that. Yeah. The like button that's also huge. free ninety nine. The like button is free as well. Yeah. Wait, free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. Yeah. Oh wow. New YouTube CEO that might change soon. So let's just get it out. Yeah, yeah. Now while it's free, get subscribed. Hit the like button while you can. Don't give Neil any ideas.